Hi, I'm Jessica and I'm on the campus of UC San Diego at the Jacobs School of Engineering and I'm going to go into the Envision Arts and Engineering Maker Studio and I'm going to learn how to make stickers. I'm a little intimidated, I've never done it before, but let's go check it out. And what are your majors? I'm a mechanical engineering major. I'm mathematics applied sciences. Great. And so today we're going to learn how to make vinyl stickers. What should I know before I go in? Uh, this is the lounge area, so you don't need anything. You don't need to sign in. Um, if you have homework that you need to do, or if you just want to eat something, you can just sit down and chill. And then the area that we're actually going to go make the vinyl stickers in, you're going to need to make sure that you have your student ID, closed toe shoes, and we'll pick up some safety glasses. Well, let's go. So this is where we sign in. This is your student ID. Make sure to grab some safety glasses. Yeah, so if you don't have glasses, you're gonna need safety glasses. Uh, if you have normal glasses on, you don't need them. And you need to make sure you have closed toe shoes. And if you don't, we have some crops of shame that you can wear. Right. Oh, let's go. soldering area and all the tools that you need to solder are here and then on the other side we have all of our mini 3D printers. And then along the window we have more 3D printers and you can 3D print stuff with PLA or we also have Ninja Flex. Look how cute! It's a little rocktopus. It's a rocktopus. So, so this is the woodworking area, and as you can see that there are so many tools that you can use. You do need hands-on training, and if I'm yelling, I'm sorry, I can't hear you. <laughs> So the showcase is for students um, to show off any of their projects if they want to leave it here um, to literally showcase, they can. And we really appreciate any types of projects that students complete. So for all you Rick and Morty fans, people they even make portal guns and it actually works. area that we're going to be showing you around in. This is the laser cutter room. As you can see, we have one laser cutter here, and then we just got a new one that we're setting up. Um, they're both same functionality. And then we have arcade area, glue station, and finally, last but not least, we have the vinyl cutter. All right, is this where we're going to start? Yes. Okay, show me what to do. Okay, so we're finally here. We're in the laser cutter room, which is also the vinyl cutter room. And I want to make some vinyl stickers. Okay. So, how do we do it? Perfect. So, because it's Halloween approaching, okay. um, we've actually pre-selected some templates. So, you're going to get to choose from any of these. Okay. These are very spooky, but I think I'm going to go with the Boo, Boo sticker. So, some things you should know is the software that we're using you can either use Inkscape or Illustrator to create your own image, and then you can cut out a sticker of it. Or you can just go on Google, find a clip art, and then as long as it's a JPEG file and put it in the flash drive, you're good to go. So as long as it's a JPEG file or an Illustrator 8 file, I'm ready to go. Yes. All right, and you have it here on this USB. Okay, what do I open up here? So you're gonna go ahead and go to Cut Studio. Okay, Cut Studio right here on the desktop. Yeah. And then, so now we just want to import our image. So it's at the top. Click Import, and there are stickers. Yes. And there's, boo, there's a little face. All right, click Open. 
Alright, so right now, all right. the sticker is on here, but the machine doesn't know what to cut. So we're going to need to tell it where the lines are. Okay. So go ahead and right click the image. Alright, go to image outline. And then you're going to extract the contour lines. Extract contour lines. Got it. So now all the blue lines are what the machine is going to cut. Okay. You're gonna wanna move the contour lines. Yeah. And then the original picture, we don't need that anymore, so we can go ahead and click it and press delete. Alright, let's click on delete. Alright. Alright. So to maximize our use of the vinyl, we don't wanna waste anything. We don't uh, wanna waste any vinyl. No. <laughs> um, we're gonna click on the image. Okay. And at the top there's a button called move. <laughs> Oh, and it shoves it right in the corner. Yeah, and that's the origin of where it's gonna start cutting. Oh, okay. And the last step, we want to just shrink the image down. Okay, so, so right you wanna here, make it a little smaller. Yeah. To our right, we wanna click Keep Aspect. Okay, so in size and shape, I'm gonna click on Keep Aspect. Yes. And then what? And then now, since we've kept the aspect, it's gonna scale it uniformly. Oh, okay, so... We want this to be what, like three inches, two inches? Yeah. Three All, right. Inches. All right, three inches. And it shrunk it down. Oh, it sure did. All right, I didn't even have to do the math. Excellent. And then you're going to go ahead and click move one more time. Oh, and it shoved it over to the corner. Right? Okay. And now the action went over. All right, I'm ready. Well, because it's Halloween, I think we're gonna need either orange or black, and I'm feeling like orange today. All right, great choice. Okay. Take this and we're gonna go to the actual vinyl cutter. All right, great. Okay, okay, Desi, I have my orange, what do I do? All right, so we're going to actually put it into the vinyl cutter now. Okay. So, if you would hold this for me. Absolutely. So we're going to actually feed this right into the vinyl cutter oh like so okay <laughs> so if you want to come back up here and look so do you see these um these white lines sure and there's these rolly thingies these little wheels yeah so we want to make sure that the rolly thingies are within these wheels and now we actually get to pull a lever so right yes. now it is in the unlock position but would you like to put it in the lock position yes for me? please that's All very right. satisfying so now if you want to come over okay. here, we're going to be pushing some buttons. Yay, buttons! All right, so we have options between a roll, a piece, or an edge. Now we okay. do have a roll, so this is what we're going to be selecting. Okay. So if you want to hit enter. It's moving. Is it supposed to move? Yes. All right. We're doing good. So now will you press the up arrow and you can just hold it down. Okay. And you don't have to worry because there's an automatic sensor for it to know when to not Okay. Oh, All right. Excellent. Now, if you want to press and hold the origin button. All right. So now we're ready to actually cut out your sticker. Okay. Let's go back to Janet. All right, Janet, tell me what we need to do. Perfect. Everything is all set. So the last step is you're going to go to cutting at the very top. Okay. And then. Oh, ahead. there it is! <laughs> all the way right there. So that is all the measurement that it took. Okay. So that's how big um, the roll is. And then just click OK. It's so fast. Sticker. All right. So now you get to unlock your sticker. Okay. So this lever? Yes. All right. Push it down. All right. So now here's your sticker. So now we're going to turn it into an actual sticker over here. Okay. So also, like, you can use this pick to be able to grab the vinyl to make it a little bit easier to remove. So. Oh my gosh, there's his little face. So if you want to remove the rest, you can go for it. Oh, okay. Okay. There you go. So now we have 
So I could put this on. You could put this on your laptop, your water bottle, your window, anywhere you want. But I'm afraid if I peeled off these pieces, they'd all be messed up. Right. So the okay. so what we have is basically just a big roll of masking tape, but we also like to call it transfer tape. Okay. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna unroll it. <laughs> oh, this is great. So about as big as you need, which is, it's like, a big boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, All right. so like that big. Yeah. All right, so and then what? You can set your sticker on top of here. Okay. If you'd like, I'll hold this. Yep, now if you want to use the scissors and cut off this, this masking, masking tape. tape. And then we're going to, but I like to use, I like to use my ID. And then I like to just like get it really on that masking tape if you want to okay. try that. So All right. now that it's successfully stuck to transfer paper, we have made a sticker. Okay. So if you want to get what you want to put it I'm on. I'm going to put it on my notebook. All right. So I'm going to give you this. And what you're going to do is you're going to slowly peel these away from each other. Okay. Sometimes you gotta give it a little encouragement. Okay, so once it, we want it to stay on the masking tape mm -hmm. in kind of like a mirror image. Wait. There we go. Excellent. So now you get to take this and place it wherever you want. I'm nervous. All right, so we just we just stick it on like this. Mm -hmm. All right. Make Put sure it it's kind of straight. Want. All you need is a thumb drive and a JPEG or an Illustrator 8 file, and you also can have cool stickers. Um, also, yeah, at Envision, we host workshops here. So coming up on the 30th and the 31st, we have a Halloween mask making workshop, and we're going to be using ah! the vacuum former. Yeah, so a new tool that you can learn how to use. A vacuum former. I'm so excited. That sounds like a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much. Till next time. <laughs>